Well, it's opponent preview time. It's South Dakota State in town, the 17th annual Dakota Marker, Cole Jurek. I don't think I have to explain this. It's a big football game here on Saturday. Where do you start when you think about the matchup? Yeah, I think it comes down to winning the conference. That's that's kind of the goal every year. Is it's it's a, it's a big matchup for the conference. So you got to you got to get back to the basics. Of what we do, you know, they, they've had a month off to prepare for us. We don't know what we're going to see this weekend. Defensively, we got to be ready to expect everything. They're going to bring some different plays, some some different things at us, and offensively, they're probably going to bring some different blitzes we've never seen. So getting back to the basics, be, make sure we can protect against everything and and be ready for everything this week. Let's talk about this SDSU offense. I asked Matt Ants on his radio show Monday night what he thinks of right away. Way. He stared in my eyes and he said, Pierre Strong. Pierre <laughs> Strong Jr. is one heck of a player. Also, they've got a really good true freshman quarterback and Mark Gronowski. Their rushing attack, it's its the real deal, isn't it? It is the real deal. Maybe the best back or one of the best backs in conference. You know, when healthy, he's played very well this year, but he's only been in the end zone once because the quarterback's been in the yeah. end zone six times, which is which is pretty crazy. They got that dual kind of threat with the quarterback and rushing attack. You know, last week we struggled a little bit with the quarterback getting out of the pocket a few times, so uh, I think we'll see a lot of quarterback run game in this one. Yeah, the Yankee twins are the go-to at the receiving core as well. In the passing game, Jackson and Jaden for Gronowski when he throws the football. Here is standout defensive tackle Eli Mostar discussing the discipline and the execution needed against this Jackrabbit rushing attack. Well, we're going to go at it like every other week, uh, prepare like any other team, but we know SDC is a great team, good running back, great offensive line, so we'll have to prepare and hopefully we're ready for them by the time Saturday comes. We cross over to the other side of the football with the Jackrabbit defense and Cole there's a lot of names that we recognize there. They are deep up front, like the Bison. They like to rotate a lot of guys and opportunistic in the back end as well. What do you see with them when you take a peek? You know, a lot of experience out of them. I'm really, you know, all the way through that that the whole defense with the defensive line all the way to that secondary. Guys that can play all over the field and, you know, with a month off, they can drop a lot of plays with the guys that have been around for a while. So expect them to bring some different exotic blitzes or show some different coverages to try to confuse our quarterback. So when you have that experience and that time off, uh, it expects a lot of different things, but probably expect some rust. You know, that long off from yeah. tackling, that could be difficult for them. Yeah, fresh, maybe some rust as Cole talked about as well. Reese Winkleman at defensive end, a high school teammate of Trey Lance, by the way, playing on the defensive line for South Dakota State. Logan Backus is the standout linebacker that returns and all sorts of names in the back end that we recognize. Josh Manchagaya has an interception in each of his last three ball games. Here's Bison quarterback Zeb Nolan talking about being careful in the turnover category. Just go out there and be ready for anything. Um, you know, focus on what it's going to take to win the game, and that's taking care of the ball. And, you know, my job is to do my job and not the other ten. You know, they're going to take care of me up front, and I'm going to do my best to get us in the best situation. So as we started, a lot on the line in the Dakota marker game. It's a 2.30 p.m. Central time kick. Valley Championship, playoff seeding, bragging rights. Oh, yeah, the Rock as well. Give me a key. What do you think in this one? I think it comes down to third down in this football game. Can our offense stay on the field? We haven't been great on third down last week, really struggled in the first half. Can that offense convert first downs, you know, can, can control that clock, control the ball, give the defense a break? And defensively, can we get off the field? You know, that rushing attack is very strong for them. Can they, you know, can we get them off the field? They're going to have eight, ten-minute drives themselves. So I think third down is the key to this football. Yeah, I like it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, 2.30 p.m. kick. We got you covered on the radio side with pregame coverage at 2 p.m. Central time on the Peterson Farm Seed. Bison Radio Network and back on TV the KBLY NBC North Dakota statewide network I know everybody is happy about that as well that's going to do it for Cole Hine Cole Jurek I'm Jeff Colhane it's the Dakota Marker game our opponent preview